Hi my friends, today we model this part. You see that there are some interesting features here. And the drawing is this one. The name is Cassette Switch. We start by creating this flat feature with dimensions here. I don't mention them. There are a lot. Also here are some other. Let's start. Standard millimeters IPT is the template. Plane, sketch, the other position of x, x to the right, and then a circle with this center and the radius 5. We draw a line with the length of 28.5 tab and the angle of uh, you see here the angle 180 minus 20 I want to use uh, dimensions from the drawing so I place this angle to be rigorous this line is construction line then we draw a circle with a radius 4.35 on the same line another circle with a radius 6.15 we draw tangents between the two circles I keep pressed the left button and I go to this circle. The same for the other. Trim. I cut the, these arcs. And I place the distance from this circle. Distance. From this circle to this circle. 10 good another circle is placed somewhere here with a radius 14.1 this uh, distance between the center point and the circle is 10.2 and the other dimension is 3 we draw a line between a point from the circle to the circle another one is starting from here it goes to this point then I keep press the left button to draw an arc my friends you know the procedure tangent to the circle and this is an angle of 40 and the distance from the center of the sketch 
2.4 we trim some uh, arcs as you can see and we draw two lines this is one I want to be parallel to this so I hover on this axis and now you see it is parallel the other one starts from here again over this and parallel with the other they are equal because they are placed about this axis where uh, the centers of the two circles are placed equal these two and we have a symmetry the distance between them is 7.7 .7. Seven point seven. Now I want to apply trim here, but I cannot do this because I want to keep this radius for both. What to do? I apply split. Split to obtain this arc independently and I lost dimension my friends no problem I place this as radius 5 I cannot move this so it is concentric with the other one dimension needed what is that dimension I don't see but I apply again split for uh, detach this arc as construction the radius is 6.5 and I apply fillets of 0 0.5 0 0.5 between these two entities and these two entities now let's see what dimension is needed out of dimension I apply that dimension yes I know remove done this distance is two millimeters this now we have a fully constrained sketch the thickness of this flat area is 2.7 extrude 2.7 okay if we take a look at the drawing we see undimensioned fillets are radius 1 among them are this one this one and this one so I use fillet of one to these three edges. Okay. Now we have to create uh, this extrusion. As you can see, it is placed on this face. It will be placed on this face with dimensions to both directions 
one is uh, this one millimeter from this face but we work on this face so 2.7 and 1 makes the sum of this direction and the other direction is 10.2 minus uh, that other let's do this I select this face I create a new sketch an arc from the end of this arc to the end of the other arc and I apply equal between this arc and this arc to copy the radius yes finish sketch extrude this is with the uh, unequal directions up is uh, 10.2 minus 2.7 and the other is uh, 1 plus 2.7 okay now we have to apply this uh, slope face starting from this 10.2 but not along any axis this will be the axis yes so I create a new plane based on this one and this one this is the mid plane of that sloped uh, feature. This is for a new sketch. F7. I project geometry, this, and I draw a sloped line to here. The angle is 8 degrees. The angle between these faces. 8. Fully constrained sketch. I project also this, this and this. Finish sketch. Extrude. You see the contour, symmetrical and cut all the way. Okay, this is no more necessary to be visible, but it is here in the browser. Do not forget, I place now these two radius 0 0.5 fillets okay I select this edge 0 0.5 and also 0 0.5 this one is one millimeter because it is uh, included here at undimensioned fillets so we apply plus one for this okay next is uh, this cut it has also fillets at the bottom without dimension then uh, it is uh, radius one you see here 1.8 is the thickness of the contour and 5.2 is the depth we turn back the part we apply offset of 1.8 inside then finish extrude 5.2 
the other direction which means cut okay this is radius 1 good next feature needs uh, explanations you see if we take a look at the part we see this large cut and to be more uh, effective you see also this contour to be applied as a cut okay what are the dimensions the dimensions are here radius 19 for this arc placed on this vertical yes the center of this arc is on this uh, vertical here is the center point of the part yes then we see an arc this arc we don't have any other dimension to create this but the angles of 40 degrees here and also 40 degrees here you see this is 40 and this is 40 this arc doesn't have a value a radius but these corners are placed on that arc well this will be the solution we'll use this arc with no radius mentioned and containing these two corners in other words there is a parallel line with this because this is present parallel this is at 40 degrees and the radius is 19 this is all we have of course there is this radius of 5 of this contour let's apply this uh, on this face we create an arc with a center to be placed here and to be say this equal the radius with this then another arc simple arc from this point to this point with a radius of 19 that uh, center is on the same vertical with the center point of the part as you can see we connect this to ends and these two ends these lines are coincident with the center point so we place them as you can see good parallel is this line with this face and 40 degrees is this with the horizontal we project the horizontal which is the axis x we make this construction and we need two dimensions my friend now I use an arc with the center because this is the center and the arc is from here to somewhere I make coincident 
this point with this point and I may coincident this with this yes one dimension is missing and this is the angle my friends the angle of 40 between these two lines now you see that we have a fully constrained sketch I make this uh, construction and I have the area to be applied yes finish sketch extrude this with cut all the way through the part okay next is this uh, extrusion and the uh, dimensions are here you see there is a place here and another here but considering 7.6 minus 4 this line if we take a look here we see that this is that line and this is the other one they are placed on the bottom on this face okay we use uh, this uh, face we draw a small line here perpendicular on the on the line on this line we draw a short line here which is uh, aligned with this I hope this is perpendicular let's see no now is perpendicular and there is this distance of 4.9 4 4.9 at the other end we also draw a line perpendicular on this I I have a line here yes and I extend to this the procedure is repeated here and I apply collinear with this now we place the unique dimension here 7.6 minus 4 finish sketch extrude I'm and these two must be construction let's make them construction to have no problem this one and I keep press the shift button and this one are both construction finish sketch extrude the extrusion is 19.5 uh, because we made the sketch on this face 19.5 extrude 19.5 okay now there is a two millimeters thickness of uh, the other end two millimeters and this is void 
inside. The distance for this cut is 19.5 plus 2.7 minus 2. We turn back the part, we select this face, then we draw a small line by her moving on this to be aligned. We have a fully constrained sketch, yes? Then we apply extrude on this area, cut and this is the expression. Yes. Okay. We apply other two fillets of one to these edges and also to these edges. Okay, then we have to apply some uh, extrusions to obtain these uh, small uh, part of, uh, of the model. Dimensions, we start with the uh, this contour of uh, four millimeters and on the vertical it is uh, measured from here to here 13.7 since we create it on this face the dimension is 19.5 minus 13.7. Okay. This face, sketch, line, parallel to this, now is parallel, dimension as I said is four millimeters finish sketch extrude from this face on uh, 19.5 it is here minus 13.7 good next is uh, this cut and uh, if we take a look at the model we see that uh, this uh, line is uh, projected from this vertical in the back. Good. Face F7 normal rectangle not three point rectangle tab 2.7 and this was automatically projected so we have a fully constrained sketch by fortune was uh, uh, this finish sketch extrude this with cut to the face okay Next is uh, this uh, conical uh, 
uh, revolved face with dimensions 8.7 from this not from this diameter at the bottom of 6 and angle of 6 degrees good we use uh, any uh, plane because this is the center we can select this plane or this this plane because this is a, a conical feature F7 line from the center point up right to the face and back to the vertical this is uh, center line the angle is uh, 6 divided by 2 the measure vertical dimension is 8.7 and this point with the axis is for the diameter finish sketch revolve okay then the hole there is a hole there 3.8 through this is the face this is the center and 3.8 is already placed here because i made the model before okay now you see uh, there are radius 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 up and down two fillets I select one of the edge 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 okay we have to consider also uh, this 0 0.5 at 45 degrees the chamfer at the bottom of that hole we select the edge chamfer 0 0.5 the last feature is a small cylinder this one with the uh, dimensions placed here you see this is the cylinder 6 is the dimension from here 2.3 is the diameter and it is placed at a distance of 22.5 and 9 degrees from the center point we turn back the part but in this direction we select the face F7 we draw a line of 22.5 tab at an angle of uh, 180 minus 9 sure I eliminate this dimension and I place this dimension because it is in the drawing we want to have dimensions from the drawing my friends not created by us then I place here a circle with the diameter of 
I make this uh, as construction finish sketch extrude this on uh, six plus two minus two sorry because I have to consider this thickness okay there are also fillets of one on these two edges by comparing this uh, part with the model I saw a mistake the mistake is this sketch where uh, if we measure here we have 11.2 but in the drawing this dimension is 10.2 uh, so we have to modify the previous extrusion this sketch the previous extrusion to be not 10.2 minus 2.7 but we have to eliminate that millimeter from the bottom yes we measure from this face that dimension and here is 2.7 and 1 to be subtracted from this okay now we can verify the volume I properties physical update and this uh, value copy drawing double click and the new value is exactly the same with the model we keep the former value and we establish now a convention that we will use in the future this is the model and this is the part made by us let's apply the material it is uh, steel carbon and view IBL no IBL default IBL but default lights now we can compare the two and they are absolutely identical if I also hide the edges now you see the same light the same dimension that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye